Hey guys, Magical Aaron. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and turn on the notifications as soon as possible. Before you even watch the video. Do it now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. <clears throat> so, we have here four kings. One, two, three, four, you can see them all. There's King of Spades, King of Hearts. King of Clubs, King of Diamonds. And they are what you would call detectives. Because what happens is this is a normal pack of cards. And they are going to find a selected card. Now we're going to turn them down so that, you, so that they can't see the card. But you can see it, and I'll see it just to make sure we get the trick right. So, let's say that's the card. So what card do we have? Okay, we can't say it out loud, otherwise the kings will hear. So keep it to yourself. Okay. The card will go into the pack. Actually, when I said into the pack, I meant into the pack, right there, okay? So we'll place it there. And we'll cut the pack several times. And I'm going to see if I can locate the card first, and then I'll have them help me out, because I sometimes have trouble finding cards. So before we do that, I'm going to turn them over so they know what's going on. Well, I think they know what's going on anyway. And so, let's see. Must have passed it. Hmm. Okay. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'm gonna put, put the kings in somewhere. Hopefully, they can find the card. Okay, we have the kings in there. Hopefully they can do their job correctly. Ready? There they are. Turn them upside down. Three cards pop out. Let's see if we can do this again here. Two cards come out. Hopefully the two kings, yes, and they say they know where the card is. They believe it is the four of diamonds. So, I'm going to teach you how that was done, and I'm going to leave you with something to kind of think on. Here we go. You have the four kings. One, two, three, four. Talk about them how you want to, do whatever you want with the four kings before, and uh, <clears throat> make it as dramatic as you want to. And um, what you're gonna do is have someone select the card and have them face the card back. Now, what's gonna happen is you're gonna cut at a random spot. What you're gonna do is you're gonna point like this. And when you're pointing, you're gonna actually take a look at that card. This card right here that you're, you're gonna take a look at this card. Not the card that you're pointing at, but this card. So you're gonna point like that. Say, put your card back right there. Okay? Put your card back right there. And that way you can see this card. Okay? Or whatever card you cut to. It won't necessarily be the seven of spades. Or whatever card. It'll be whatever card it is. So you have them paste that card back right there. Now the seven of spades is on top of that card. So you can cut the deck any number of times you want to. And we're looking for the seven of spades. So the seven of spades, the one to the right will be their card. So we find the seven of spades. So we know that that card is eight of hearts. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the four kings right next to the eight of hearts. We're going to place one there. And we're going to leave them sticking up. One there. So we have one next to our card, one behind our card, one in front of our card. 
one in front of their card. So it's basically every other card. And one in front of the card after their card. I wanted to show you. One card goes... This is how the setup is when you put them in. You place one card behind your card, the card that you memorized. You place one card in front of your card, which is actually also behind their card. One card in front of their card. And one in front of the next card. So, one king behind your card. One king behind their card. It doesn't matter what color the kings are, where you place them where you place what color, excuse me. So you have one king behind your card that you memorized, one card behind their one king behind their card, one king in front of their card, a random card, and one king in front of that random card. Okay? You get it? Let's continue with the trick. And the rest of the trick is basically self-working. Just make sure that the cards are nice and flat on the inside so all cards are like even with the pack here. None of them are sticking up with the, king, with the kings. You do that just by kind of going through like this, pushing all the other cards down. Okay, so you just turn the pack over so the kings are kind of sticking out the bottom. Push in. You can pull these cards up if you want to so you get a better effect. Do it again, turn it over, do the same thing. And two kings should pop out. This one isn't going to work too well. There we go. Okay, two kings. And they should go in and find the eight of hearts. Okay? It didn't work as well the second time, but you get the idea. Here is the next trick. The one I'm going to leave you hanging with. You show... Ace of Hearts. You have someone sign it. Magical... Aaron, horrible handwriting. Mm -hmm. Ease of Hearts gets turned face down. <laughs> Just like that. Gets placed right there. You take the next card. The four spades. Just like that. Set it on top, and actually what we're going to do is just give it a shake like that. Now we have, now we have my card, which means that the four of spades is now right there. I'll teach you how to do that one next time. Again, hit the notifications, like button, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye for now.